First Aid Friday. Avocado. Today we're looking at hand injuries. Our hands are the most common thing that we actually injure. Why? Because these are our tools. We pick up, we pack our shopping, we do the cleaning, we do clean the windows, we do cooking, we do lots of stuff with our hands. Okay, and these are the ones that get damaged, as I mentioned, are the most common. Now, what on earth has an avocado got to do with it? Did you know that avocado hand is a real thing? First world problems, I reckon. What does that mean? The amount of people that actually cut into their hand is amazing. I'm going to give you a little example. I'm not going to actually do it to myself, but you can imagine people get the knife, they get the avocado and they hold it in their hand. And what happens is they start to cut it. And inside an avocado is a stone and it's very slippy. And what happens is when they slip on that bone, it can then cut into their hand. And that's what we call avocado hand. Mm, not nice and not pleasant. If you ever go to a restaurant and you order anything to do with avocado, avocado, sorry, like guacamole, any tiny hint of pinkness in it, send it back, okay? So hand injury, bleeding, it does actually bleed quite a lot. What else can cause the hand injury um, just with our own mistakes? Bread, knife. Hmm. Again, how many of you, yes, I am included in this one, start cutting? And where's your hand? Now, I know that lots of you say, oh, don't be silly. You know, of course I don't cut it all the way through and then I turn it around. But what if you're busy? I don't know, maybe you're getting ready for a barbecue. Chance will be a fine thing. And you're just trying to rush, rush, rush. You're trying to make the sandwiches. You're trying to get things done and <laughs> through the hand. Again, all to do with us using our tools. What else? Stanley knife. Again, you know, it's flipping sharp. Opening boxes, we're really quick. Our hands get in the way. That also can cause quite bad damage to our hands. But here's the one that I'm probably going to guess that most of you are guilty of. Frozen burgers. Hmm? So you take them out of the freezer, but you're trying to split them in two. So just pretend this is burgers. You get your knife and you're trying to wedge in between the two burgers so they can, what's the word, separate. Where's your hand? Mm -hmm -hmm. It's in the way. Again, the amount of injuries that we see due to us human beings and our own mistakes, really. So what are we going to do if we do have a hand injury and it is bleeding? We're past the point of a plaster. This is what we call blood loss. So quite simply, bigger than a plaster, we've got to stop the blood from coming out immediately. Now, I could always say to you that most people, if they injure the hand, they go like that and they hold it. Why? Because our brain says that is a good thing to do. So getting a bandage on. Now, I'm going to try and bandage myself. I think you've seen me before. It's not my finest hour. Hold on, I've got to even just try and get it open. Now we start. So inside your first aid kit, at home, I hope so, at work, definitely should have bandages. Now, my bandages that I use have the built-in gauze already, which is great. It means that I don't have to faff around with separate gauze. So lots of people, when they try and bandage your hand, is that they do it flat, like this. Yeah? And then we've got to be thinking to ourselves, what is our objective? Our objective is to stop the blood from coming out of the injury, right? So is this wrong, what we're doing? It's not wrong, but it's not going to be very effective. It's what we call a flat bandage. Yeah, no use. So let's get rid of that one. Okay. Let me show you a way of doing it. The best way to have the best results to stop that blood loss. And here we go again. Don't worry. I'll be recycling them. Okay. So again, here it comes. Here's the pad. What is a great thing to do is put the pad, pretend my hand's bleeding, 
put the pad in and get the person to close the hand really firmly. And we want to keep the thumb out and I'll show you why in just a minute. And what we want to do is we want to wrap all of the fingers in. This is what we call the boxing glove bandage. Why? Because it looks as if you put a boxing glove on. Nothing technical, nothing fancy about it. So when you get to the end, you just tie it off. Again, it doesn't matter how you tie it off. It can be in a knot, it can be in a bow. It doesn't really matter. Because as soon as you get to the hospital or the doctors or wherever it is you've decided to go, they're just going to cut it off. So that is getting the pressure on it and getting the pressure on it, that will stop the blood loss, hopefully. Hey, got my thumbs out. So why do I need to leave my thumb out? Because we want to check to see if you've done that bandage too tight or not. How are we going to check? I want all of you to follow along now. Mm -hmm. I want you to squeeze. It doesn't matter about nail varnish. Myth. What I want you to do is squeeze your thumb as firm as you can for the count of five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let go. One, two. It should come back to its normal colour by the count of two. If it doesn't, then we say the bandage is too tight. You must loosen it off. Because if it's too tight, you're going to cause another problem now, which is loss of circulation completely. That's not pleasant to treat either. So when it comes to injuring your hands, tends to be the palm of our hands, make sure you get it wrapped up nice and tight, well, tight-ish. That will stop the blood loss and go and get it checked out. So when you are in the kitchen next time and you see an avocado, just have a chuckle to yourself. Be careful. Don't hold it in your hand and don't use a knife cutting into your hand with an avocado, with a bun, all those burgers. You know that you've done it, haven't you? I have. Mm -hmm. I won't lie. I have. Well, the bread, yes. Avocado, no. So just remember that little tip again. If you ever get served avocado in a restaurant when you are out and it is slightly pinkish, mm -hmm, don't eat it because you know what it could be. Well, I'm Sarah and I'm an owner trainer of First Aid at Work Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire in partnership with Mini First Aid. And um, if you're looking to do a first aid course with me, making first aid training fun, engaging, but most importantly memorable, I've got an open class scheduled for this coming Monday. All right, so might see you on Monday. If not, keep safe and uh, happy chopping. Look after your fingers.